Okay, here is a quick guide on how to use your Sussex Wildlife Trust Explorer app. The first thing you may want to do is to check on your options button. By default, your Wi-Fi, network and GPS will be turned on. As there are video and audio clips within this guide, you may wish to use the Wi-Fi to save on your data contract. You also have the option to choose Google Maps as your default map, but we recommend the Sussex Wildlife Trust map. To go back from any screen, just use the back button below the screen. So let's press start and then select the map we wish to use. Because of low phone signals on our reserves, we recommend that you download the map before you begin the guide. You can see a small introduction to the reserve before starting the guide. If you were standing within this particular reserve, there would be a green icon to show your location, and this would move with you as you walked around the reserve. You can move around the screen by scrolling with your finger or using the navigation icons in the top left of the screen. This will also let you zoom in and out. The orange markers are designated interest points, and we click on these to find out various things. Now let's try this one here. This one is about nightingales. Along the bottom, we have some icons. If they are green, they have some content. If they are grey, they have no content. This one has a sound clip of what a nightingale sounds like and also has a question mark which indicates a quiz question to test your wildlife knowledge. You can always use the back button to return to the map. The green icon will allow you to navigate around the map and choose different designated interest points or dips. You may find out things about the reserve that perhaps you wouldn't see otherwise. Enjoy yourself with the Sussex Wildlife Explorer app.